Thank you for joining us for Midweek Prayer. I'm Andrea, one of the pastors here, and it's really good to be together today. It's my hope that this is a place where we can connect with God and with each other uh, as we join our hearts in prayer. Sometimes the weeks go by without us really knowing what we've been doing or where the time has gone. But it's important to set aside time to connect with God and with each other. So during this time, uh, I will read a scripture and then uh, after that, we'll have a time of prayer. And during that time of prayer, I'll sp pray specifically for joys or concerns that have been shared with the church or with myself over the past week. If you have a prayer request or a joy that you would like for us to pray specifically for, then we invite you uh, to reply to this post on, on Facebook or that you can email one of the addresses on the screen or you can contact the church office. We believe in the power of prayer. And so I invite you to take just a moment to breathe and to center yourself. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of thy faithful and enkindle in us the fire of thy love. Amen. And I invite you to hear these words uh, from Psalm 125. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be moved, but abides forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds his people from this time on and forevermore. For the scepter of wickedness shall not rest on the land allotted to the righteous, so that the righteous might not stretch out their hands to do wrong. Do good, O Lord, to those who are good and to those who are upright in their hearts. But those who turn aside to their own crooked ways the Lord will lead away with evildoers. Peace be upon Israel. May God add his blessing to the reading and the hearing of his word. I now invite you to join me in a time of prayer. Let us pray. Creator God, may this eternal truth be always on our hearts, that God who breathed this world into being, placed stars in the heavens and designed a butterfly's wing, is the God who entrusted his life to the care of us ordinary people, became vulnerable that we might know how strong is the power of love, a mystery so deep it is impossible to grasp a mystery so beautiful, it's impossible to ignore. This Advent, we prepare our hearts for your coming, and yet know that your light already shines brightly in our world. We have seen you. We have felt you with us. We trust you. In these next few moments, Lord, listen as we individually just simply say thank you and silently share the ways that we have seen you working in our world today. Thank you, God. 
We know that you hear us. And so we continue praying. We intercede and we pray for the, the people who are on our hearts and our minds. Praying for the Barrick family as they grieve the death of Tom's oldest brother, Sonny. For the McCoy family, as they grieve the death of Henry's brother, Morris. Lord, we pray for those who have COVID. Lord, we know the numbers are large, but Lord, we also pray specifically for Henry and Carolyn's son, Scott. And Lord, we pray for people who are struggling with health concerns that are not COVID related. And Lord, that includes Tom Barrick. And Lord, that includes Rosa Troyer, as Rosa fell and broke her pelvis. Almighty God, where there is sickness and disease, bring healing. Where there is hunger and despair, bring hope. Where there is torture and oppression, bring release. We confess that we've not always loved our neighbors like you call us to. We confess that we have done things our way or that we have pushed you away. Forgive us, O oh God, and know that we offer ourselves to you, asking you to fill us with your hope, peace, love, and joy, and then use us to bring your light into the darkness of this world. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you in digital worship on Sunday at 9.30 a.m.